Well, you know, nothing speaks to me about the fall season like a good hot bowl of chili. I don't care if it's meatless chili, beanless chili, chicken chili, any kind of chili I absolutely love, I love in chili. the fall. And that is our focus today on Meals from the Field. Welcome everybody to another edition of Meals from the Field. Joining me as always, our good friend, everybody's good friend, Marsha Crowley. Good to see you good again, Marsha. Good to see Marcia. you, right? When you told me we were doing chili, I was like, Yes. I know. I love chili. Especially in November. I oh, love yeah, it. Yeah. I love chili. So what do we got today? Okay. I'm going to start with the non-traditional chili. Mm -hmm. um, this is a, a fall chili, actually. Okay. More, not as traditional. This is three cups of onions that I've already sauteed with garlic in there. I'm going to add to that six cups of cubed butternut squash. Don't question it i know butternut I, it is good butternut squash and chili you're like wait what and Listen. you can buy the butternut squash already cubed up but it's going to be at least five times more expensive okay. than if you hassle with it all right i'm going to add to that then i've already um let me know these are the spices uh chili powder salt and um cayenne pepper so you're going to stir that around and we're doing in the sense of time we're doing this in a shortcut, but you would cook this for about five minutes. But just let the butternut squash, squ squash, squash get a little bit limp. Butternut sasquatch, is yeah, that what you're trying to say? that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> and I've already browned this, and this is um, one and a half pounds of chicken apple sausage. Mm. And there are several sausage companies from Georgia that sell this, so not to call out anybody. Stir that around a little bit. And here again, essence of time. You're going to let that cook a minute or two. Then you're going to add four cups of chicken broth. Dumb question since it is uh, deer season. I believe it's deer season. Don't call me. Can you put deer meat in there? Like deer sure sausage? Sure, you could. Okay. You could actually put it in either one of these recipes that we're okay. going to do. So that was four cups of chicken broth. There's, here's the other fall ingredient three chopped, cubed, chopped, however you want to do it. And this is a Granny Smith apple, which is kind of tart, which is it was perfect for this chili. You're going to stir that in. And then you're going to add one can of pinto beans. And pardon the can, but there it is. Right, you're going to let this simmer for about 30, 40 minutes. It makes a lot. And mm -hmm. like I said, it's really, it's different, but it's really, really good. So the meat is actually the sausage? The sausage, yes. You don't put ground beef in there, mm -hmm. the meat is the sausage. Mm -hmm. Okay, the sausage. sausage is the meat, okay? Yep, all right, let me move some of this out of the way. All right, this is your more traditional classic chili. This is a pound of ground beef, onion, and garlic that I've done already done in there. You're gonna add to that um, the spices, which are chili powder, sage, um, cumin, and salt. And you can, I know that looks like a lot of chili powder, you can certainly adjust to your flavors, to your taste. And this is a teaspoon of hot sauce. You always worry me with that elbow. I know. I'm going to hit you one day, believe it or not. All right, this is a can of undrained kidney beans, dark or light, it doesn't matter. A can of diced tomatoes, it doesn't matter what kind. These just happen to be fire roasted. And you're going to let this simmer for 30, 40 however long you want to make it simmer. You could put it in the crock pot if you mm -hmm. wanted to. Okay, last but not least, you got to have cornbread with your chili. Absolutely. So this is a cup of fine ground, stone ground um, cornmeal, a cup of regular flour. We're going to mix the wet ingredients, which are two eggs, a cup of whipping cream, which is kind of different. Mm -hmm. And stir this into the cornmeal mixture and this batter will be very very thick then you're going to add a quarter cup of um, pimentos that's optional you could also add some jalapeno peppers if you wanted to too. good and a cup of whole kernel corn white yellow doesn't matter and like I said you stir this up no, don't over mix it but it will make 12 corn muffins or um, do it in a frying pan, cast iron skillet. Oh, okay. Bake at 
325 for like 50 minutes. It's, I mean, it's good cornbread, believe it or not. You make it ahead, it'll keep in your fridge for up to three days. And there you have your chili meal with cornbread. You have a cornucopia of chili, a chili buffet, whatever yeah. your likings may be. And of course, folks, you can make all this at home uh, in your kitchen or take it on the road if you have a tailgate to go to. You can find all the recipes by logging on to farm-monitor.com. Go up to the top, click on the recipe section. Everything is there for you in complete detail. Marsha continues to send us that stuff, and we continue to get a lot of good, good feedback. Good. See what I did there? Feedback. feedback. Yeah, Got like it. That. I right, like so. that. Anyway, Marsha, as always, good to see you. Can't wait to try this chili at home. Can't wait to try it now when now. we stop taping. Right. So we will see you guys next month as well.